Obviously, uh, and you were one up from last night. We had sex last night? Excuse me? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. Amazing. Super, super sex. You're, you're like, you're like a sex god. Oh, fine. I had sex in my dream. Okay. I don't understand. I'm lying right here next to you. Why would you have sex with me in your dream and not in reality? With, with you. With you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had sex with you, Tommy Day. Moenda, my husband, in my dream. You okay? Yeah, I... Why would I have sex in my dream? With you, obviously. I mean, it's kind of nasty, but... Uh, it just goes to show how badly you wanted me last night. Hmm? So, uh, how did I do? Mm -hmm. Of course, you wouldn't have sex with someone else. <laughs> Never. I mean, you, you did great, as always. Where are you going? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have a spa date. Mm -hmm. With uh, Tina and Didian Falake. What spa opens up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning? This spa. It is, it's a 24 hour spa, hotel spa, actually. Well, I was hoping to spend time with you, but. You, you can hang out with Sam. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Can I ask you something real quick? What would you consider as cheating? Sex with another guy? I mean, sex with another guy in reality, obviously, yeah? Wait, 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 wait. What, why are we talking about this? You're acting weird. I, I am normal. I mean, you're the one that's acting weird. What's weird about asking you what your thoughts are about cheating? Why would you even think about cheating this early in the morning? Okay, let me rephrase that. Say I 
cheated, you know, maybe in... Don't even go there. End of discussion. Okay, you, you, you won't forgive me? I mean, I can't even begin to comprehend. Wait, wait, aren't you supposed to go for this spa date with the girls? What, what spa date? Okay, now you're acting spooky. You see, this is the result of spending too much time with pregnant Carrie. Oh, yeah. Spa date with Carrie. <laughs> How can I forget? Yeah, spa date. You said the girls a few seconds ago. You know what? Coffee won't be a bad idea. Didn't you study psychology in school? I studied sociology for the hundredth time, did it? Okay, why do you always give the best advice? Uh, I read. Ugh, speak already, you drama queen. Fine, but T cannot find out about this because if he does, I'll be back in the house, single. What have you done? I had sex in my dream. So? <laughs> maybe, maybe you're horny. Wait, are you guys not having sex in real life? Did it? Are you are you starving that man? See, that's the problem. I didn't have sex with T in my dream. Okay, I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, okay, I had sex with a stranger. Okay, I've never met this man before, and I feel like I've cheated. Didi, are you are you there? Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to freak out right now, but girl, you nasty. I know you always had it in you. Okay, don't, don't make it seem like this guy is real and I cheated on T. Well, it wasn't T you slept with. It might as well be cheating. Are you going to help me or not? <laughs> Was the guy hotter than T? That's not the question you should be asking someone who's in love with her husband. T is this guy in the world and I became blind when I fell in love with him. Was the guy hotter than T did he? Oh, I hate you. But yes, yes, he was hot and he was strong. Oh, and I had no walls. I had no walls and he wasn't trying to be safe me, you know? And, and, and we went all the way. We did things that I can only imagine in my head and... Diddy! Oh my god. I remember everything. I remember every detail. How it felt. How I felt. Holy crap. Do I have a spirit husband? Um, okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. Or Knowing you, that's almost impossible. See, try not to do anything stupid in your panic mode, like telling T. Um, this is not a phone, just see, I'll be at yours soon. I'm coming with my laptop. Your problem will not be peculiar to Google. Okay, okay, fine. But when you come, please just say you came to get me for the spa. The spa? Just say it. Again, do not do anything stupid, Diddy. I am such a slut, a whore. It's not even a year into my marriage and I'm already going to get divorced over a guy that I don't even know. I don't need coffee. Oh. Did it. Hey, hey, uh, you, you ready for breakfast? Are you drinking? Uh, <laughs> I just took a shot, not like a, a drink. Drink. <laughs> Are you depressed? Depressed? Why would I be depressed? I mean, I have no reason to. I have a great husband who is great in everything. Take for instance, in bed. I, I am in a great place. Or, or maybe you're horny. You know that dream mm -hmm. is a clear indication that you want more of me? So you know what? I don't have to go anywhere. We can just have sex all day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. About the dream. I didn't have sex with you, T. I I had sex with 
someone hotter and, and stronger and I wasn't shy with him, you know, and, and we did it everywhere. I felt, it felt like I was his experiment, you know, I, I felt like his bad girl and it felt good, great actually. And then I woke up smiling un until I realized that it wasn't you who gave me that such amazing adventure. And I don't understand because sex with you is equally, equally as amazing. What's his name? I, I don't know him. I, I've never met him before. I, I think he's like a creation of mine or... I want a divorce. Did it? Did it? Yeah. 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 Sorry, you were saying? Are you gonna cancel with the girls so I can cancel with Sam? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, go and have fun, okay? And plus, Indidi's on her way here, so. Hey, T. Huh. New place is not looking bad at all. Mm. You look great, relaxed. And how's, uh, what about uh, Falake and Tina? Aren't they coming to the spa with us? All right, let me get going. I decided to let you ladies uh, enjoy your spa day. Yeah, they have a wedding. Thanks, T. Oh, is that a laptop? Don't tell me you're gonna go with that to the spa. You need to change your ways, don't be like me. Well, you know me, always doing one research or the other. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? I, I am good. Okay. Let me get going, I'll see you then. See you soon. Love you. You're the best husband in the world. <laughs> Watch this one for me. You bet. Okay. Bye. You're dead. Ugh. Dead. Just so you know, I'm going to need pizza and ice cream to solve this problem. Capish? You know what? Sorted. Thank you. You're still way cheaper than a therapist. I know. Here we go. Hmm. Whoa. You see why Google is my best friend? <sighs> um, click the first one. Yeah. Okay. Um, here. Sexual partners in dreams. Dreaming of sex with someone other than your spouse or a significant other or with a fantasy lover may be wish fulfillment. Uh, go down. Right there. Oh my god. To have sex with a stranger may symbolize a new you that is emerging due mm. to changes you are going through. Stranger may also indicate that you are open to a change and a new opportunity that is on the way. What does that even mean? See, I don't want to be thinking about the details of your sex life with T. I'm not a therapist, okay? But on the phone, you said you had no walls with this guy. You weren't shy. <laughs> and you went all the way, everywhere. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere, I'm getting somewhere. I think this guy is the T you're ready to explore much deeper with. I mean, you married as a virgin. Um, maybe you're just trying to explore your sexual fantasies, appetites, and fetish, huh? So I think you should break the walls and T will definitely follow through. And besides, I think T is safe when it comes to sex with you because you make him safe. <laughs> but now, ho, ho, ho. You are hungry for more. Stop it. <laughs> So, do, do I tell him that I want more? Maybe you show him that you want more. Uh, I think I'm sexually shy when it comes to tea. I know. I think that's part of the cons or the baggage that come with my universe. <laughs> I hate you. But seriously though, I think you should break the walls. Tea or any guy will know what to do. So you just need to embrace this new you emerging and be confident enough to own it. Yeah? Yeah, well, it actually 
starting to make sense, you know, because I get like horny a lot and I think about sex a lot. And I think this guy is still T. Probably a, a, a version of him that I want, you know? So maybe I just swapped the face so that I can go all the way with him and not be shy. Yeah? That's a legit consolation, but okay. Huh. If this guy was real now, ha! Huh? Would have just passed this with me. <laughs> ah. You're crazy. But are you. You said you've never seen this guy before. And are you sure maybe you saw him, but you just don't remember? You know how the mind works now. Nah, I've never met him. I can't, I can't even remember ever meeting him. And besides, that kind of guy, you don't just meet him anywhere. <laughs> Do you think T should know about this? Nah. <laughs> Uh, this feels so good, man. Reminds me of school days. It's funny how the hustle changes us. It's called life. But actually, we should do this more often. Definitely. And how's Carrie? Our newest mom to be. She's fine. She just went home um, for prenatal class from their church. Church. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, my, my wife is paranoid and extra these days. Dede was telling me about some pastor named Mountain Apruta. Is it just Mountain Apruta? She has like five different pastors praying for her. <laughs> One from my mom and then two from her own findings. <laughs> and how do you feel about all that though? I'm just, um, I'm just enjoying the peace. You know, she's happier, more relaxed. I'm, I'm happy as well. As long as um, she and the baby are fine, I'm good. Speaking of which, what's up with you and Dede? Are you really going to wait two years? You know women are never really stable with these things. Now she wants a baby. Dede. I'm telling you. <laughs> the other day we had a pregnancy scare and she was so gloomy when she found out it was negative. I think it's just, it's just, a, it's just a face. They all go through it. Just, um, just go with the flow, you know? for peace sake. I mean, I've always wanted a baby, but I'm just not too keen. It'll happen when it'll happen, you know? Mm -hmm, sure thing, man, but just be ready, because um, <laughs> your expenses will triple, trust me, no jokes. But don't we work so hard? I, I think we're just blessed, you know? Times are hard. This is true. Cheers, brother. You know what? Soccer time. I know drinks for one day. No. Nope. Once I go into that house, I'm not coming out until midnight. You know this. Tell me that you're turning down soccer. <laughs> they they indeed has the spell on you. Well, I'm glad you had fun. You know, we should do that more often. Well, I'm just glad that you're back to normal. Back in school, well, aside from all my exes cheating on me, because I wouldn't have sex with them. What I saw were my friends' relationships and those that were just close to me. I believed that all men cheat. I'm beginning to think that there's more to this cheating topic. You never want to talk about cheating. What, you think you never cheat on me? I mean, we're... Barely a year into our relationship, and what, we have like 50 more years? 70. And you don't think you want to explore? Would you want to explore? Look, I'm, I'm not saying that I, I wouldn't want to explore. I'm a man. I'm moved by what I see. I don't want to get to that point where you are not enough reason for me to respect what we've built. And I let God know that every single day. 
like you weren't like this with your exes. You were evil. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the stories you told me. But that was then. I was young and stupid, madame. Oh, please. You're barely even 30 for me old. You came along and immediately I knew I had to love you differently. Like, I had to become a man who's worthy of deserving you. I'm still not that man, but no girl has put me up to that challenge. Aww. You never told me this before. So, so that you have to start so <laughs> like it is right now. See how big it is. <laughs> Extra vibe this morning. How was your weekend? It was fantastic. Super great. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> yeah, how was yours and how's Auntie? Oh, she's good. The weekend was great. Uh, we went to the zoo with the kids. Ah, that sounds nice. <laughs> it wasn't so nice on my pocket. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Anyway, how are we looking on the YouTube campaign? Uh, not bad. It's just we have a bit of a challenge. They haven't approved the BTLs yet. Isn't um, if I'm uh, on top of it? Yeah, she is. It's just one second. Okay. Micah, how far? You just leave, Abby. You never start. Please bring the files to the car. Okay. As you're saying. Yeah, um, Ifoma is on top of it, but she says they're a bit slow with the approval. So maybe your input can, you know, speed up the process. Look, I am not going to be nice at all. All right? Let's give them till next Wednesday. Good afternoon, Madam Lady. How is it, Madam? Um, I'm sure you know um, Mike now. He's the new driver. I must have introduced him to you sometime last week. All he does is just sleep. Are you okay? I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 